What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another highly combustible reaction. We're jumping into something. It might get a little emotional along the way for some people. I am dyslexic, a short animated student film. Shout out to mods. Definitely get over, show all the love in the world. We asked beforehand to make sure that it was okay to react to this one because it is about a very serious topic. A short animated student film. There is more information in his description, but I'm not going to ruin it for you. Get over there and check it out yourself. The link's right there inside the description. I definitely appreciate the request. Um... But it might get a little emotional. I've, I've been ADHD my, most of my grown life that I can remember. And I know what it was like to not be able to do the things that people expected of you. I know what it's like to get held back a grade because I wasn't good enough. I wasn't learning good enough. I've been there. I've repeated the fifth grade twice. I started school a year early and then repeated the fifth grade twice. And I went from straight F's to straight A's, all with a little medication that helped me focus more. I'm not saying it's for everybody. I'm saying, and it does get a little intense at times with the Ritalin for sure, but it helped. Like it let me see that I'm, it wasn't my fault that I couldn't keep up with everybody else, that I couldn't do the same things as everybody else, that I couldn't meet the bar that the teachers were setting. Sometimes it feels damn impossible for people with learning disabilities. Let's jump in. Let's check it out together. See what we got. Go show mods all the love in the world. Certainly not stupid. It's <laughs> I got the ADHD and my brother, he got the dyslexia and his was so bad that he would write words backwards. It took a lot of help. took a lot of people caring to get the problem solved. Some people just look and laugh. Some people just point the finger and say, you're not good enough. You're not trying hard enough. And that's not the case. You're not dumb. They're dumb. They're the ones that are ignorant of the whole situation. Do some studying. Do some learning. Teach yourself about other people before you just try to tell them that they're not good enough. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Absolutely true. Every experience is different. I would say to all of the parents out there whose kids aren't learning quite as fast as the other kids. Maybe we're a little bit too hyper. Maybe we haven't. Don't give up on them. Get them checked. It does them no disservice for you to find out early that your kid has some sort of a learning disorder. No, a lot of parents out there don't want to admit it. Oh, he's just acting out. Or, oh, he's just not trying hard enough. It's, it, it was parents. It was teachers. It was everybody that thought, oh, yeah, he's just too hyper. Or he can't pay attention. He's just not paying attention in class. Or... That's not always the case. And sometimes it can feel like you're trying to accomplish the impossible, especially when you are trying your damnedest and nothing seems to work. Then it's like the world is against you. It's very, very hard to climb out of any kind of learning disability hole that you're stuck in. But with the right knowledge from people who can see these things, with the right kind of oversight, it can be found early. And it can be treated. I could have graduated. I could have been top of my class. Like, it's... I watched what my brother had to go through with the dyslexia. And it was very, very, very hard for him. And I know what it was like for me. Different experience. Same kind of mountain that you're trying to climb up. If you're out there and you're going through it, keep on going. Don't put, don't get yourself down. Don't let anybody else get you down. Try your best, and that's the best that you can do. As long as you know that you're trying your hardest, that's all that matters. That's what I've learned from my from it myself, 100%. As long as you're doing what you can, don't slack off and just blame it on a, a learning disorder. Like, actually, if you're feeling like I can't do anymore, I'm trying my best, that's good enough. And the rest of the world will have to adjust to you. We definitely need some more awareness. This was a beautiful video. One I think the whole world needs to see. Can we say severely underrated on YouTube? I think we can because shout out to all the people out there going through these learning disabilities. Right, get over there, show the love, share it around so that somebody knows how somebody else feels. So that people see what it's like when you, someone says, oh, I have to, I'm dyslexic. A lot of people just say, oh, I'm, 
a lot of people don't really know what it means. A lot of people don't really know what it feels like. Shout out to mods and team for putting together something freaking phenomenal. This was absolutely beautiful. Woo. Shout out to my teachers. That's what I'll say. Shout out to all the things that you had to put up with before we actually found out. I had some really, really great teachers in my life that just totally, if I needed extra time, I would come in after class. They would stay with you. I don't know. I don't see a lot of that anymore in today's teachers, but I can't blame them either because they're super underpaid. We should be taking care of our... We should be taking care of our teachers. We should be taking care of anybody that's working in any kind of learning environment. We want the best on the other end. We want the best knowledge on the other end. And if that means working with someone with a, with a learning disorder, then so be it. We need some awareness. We need some classes taught to some people. We need some remedial training on the subject because it is nothing new. It's been around forever and a lot of people still don't know about any of them so definitely shout out to mods and team smash the like button if you liked it the dislike button but i won't believe you tell the next one of my the combustible you guys be happy healthy safe i love you to the moon and back